your good old friend Eric from the Action Toys channel and today we have a really fun project mostly because it's a really rare project and that project is Scareglow. Now Scareglow is awesome this one is missing arms so I took it upon myself to uh, go out and buy some STL files to um Skeletor and literally all you gotta do is put him on and everything's good but the problem with this guy is he's missing a peg now that being said I'm a little crafty a little bit and I went out and I printed this peg right here so you see where it's got a hole it's got to go in here like this okay now that being said you always got to check because I've, I've printed things off and they don't fit. See, like this one does really good. Okay, so all we're gonna do is glue this peg in place. And then uh, after that, since we have we still have a fair amount of, of a peg left over right there, I'm gonna heat up a uh, attack head. I'm gonna punch it right through and into the uh, scare glow this of fixing this so it won't move again and that'll keep that in place now you do see he, there is a little bit of damage right there on him okay so we're gonna glue this we're gonna fix it uh, then we're gonna try and permanently attach this peg with a little bit of luck and some hope all right so doesn't look too bad there I only wish that I printed it out of the same stuff that he's made out of, but as you see, the difference this is, this is the same stuff he's made out of, it's just that this is new, and he's like 40 years old. Okay, so, we're gonna get our good old friend, right here, Gorilla Glue, I don't know why, but this one bottle right here does not want to cooperate with me in any way. Now that being said... Okay, sorry about all the grinding and stuff guys, but you know, all right, so I'm just I got to clean this out I don't know why it's been acting up But it has Doesn't want to dry doesn't want to do anything. It's probably me my luck <laughs> All right guys, let's do this. Okay, what we're gonna do is gonna put a little bit on scare glue We're gonna put a little bit on the inside Okay, now with that, we're gonna see how he fits right there. You wanna push this up so that, that peg is resting on top of uh, the old spot. Now you can see where the old piece is missing. There's a hole there. There's gonna be a hole up top. That is what it is, you can't help that. All right, so we're gonna put this down. I'll be back in 10 minutes. And while doing that, I'll probably do that thing I said I was gonna do by pegging in the, uh, <sighs> picking in oh my goodness by uh, fixing a I'll heat up attack I'll push it through and that way the plastic will adhere to the to the, to the uh, attack head and then I will file it down and you, you guys probably won't even notice all right cool all right let's give her a 10 minute break well guys we're back <clears throat> now as you can see you can uh, you can kind of see the Pack I inserted, uh, it's barely noticeable. I can barely feel anything, it's just melted plastic at the end of the day. That's on there pretty good. So we can, uh, look at that. Okay. So, there we go. Now, I should actually do these. I don't remember what they look like, so I'm gonna have to order that. Or I'm gonna have to look one up. All right, guys, let's do that and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna put this away. Okay, so off camera, all right, I did a test on that. Now it bled like this stuff bled like crazy, so I'm gonna have to put a clear coat on first. Uh, I did use a marker, which I shouldn't have done, but I wanted to see what it looked like just 
mocked up and uh, I actually didn't mind it it fits in just a little bit better now but not much um, so yeah I'll clear coat these and then put similar markings to this one on off camera guys and then I'll just show you pictures all right awesome